Okay, so this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be taking on a TMZ video. I know, I know, I'm sorry. But it's Tommy Lahren, so you'll understand. Uh, the president also said that they probably would have been able to put this guy away, the shooter, uh, if they'd been able to focus on that instead of the investigation. Comment on that. Because, yes, it took the entire FBI, every single FBI employee, to investigate Trump. On, on one investigation, every FBI employee across the country was working on that. Not going to comment on it. Of course, the people in Florida had nothing to do with that investigation. No, really? I thought it was the people in Florida that were investigating Trump. Oh, that's right. It's the ones in D.C. that are doing that. So, yeah, I still his logic doesn't track. I still don't see how the people in D.C. investigating Trump would have been able to stop the guy in Florida when the FBI agents in Florida would have been the ones to stop him. I'm not, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to comment. I made my, uh, my thoughts pretty clear on that. And, uh, my thoughts and prayers, yes, thoughts and prayers go out to those in Florida. Okay. Thoughts and prayers. Those are simple words. Hollow. Meaningless. They are nothing. They have never worked. Clearly, they haven't fucking worked. Because if they had... School shootings would have stopped. Murder would have stopped. The world would be at peace. No one would be starving. Everyone would have a home. Everyone would have a job. Everyone would be happy. But guess what? They don't work. Well, I mean, but haven't the thoughts and prayers kind of gone out every time and the, they're still on an uptick as far as the recurrences of these type of incidents? Like I said, thoughts and prayers. Simple, hollow, meaningless words. That will do nothing to make anything better. For situations like in Parkland, things that need to be done, parents need to be better parents at locking their stuff up, making sure their children can't get a hold of their items that did this sort of thing. They need to be better parents. If you have a child that has severe mental issues, such as this kid, get rid of the items. Now, it's not that hard. But sure, thoughts and prayers. That'll do the trick. I mean, the intention behind it, sure, it's well intended, but guess what? It's not going to work. Just like me picking up a cat to try and clean it off. When the cat doesn't like me, well intended, but it's not going to work. So does that say anything no, about how God feels you know, about I, No, I, no, I don't think so. I think that Christians are going to continue to pray. No one said they had to stop. We're just saying it's not helpful. By all means, you want to pray? Go right ahead. I'm not going to stop you. But why don't you also get your head out of your ass and do something to make the situation better? Okay, and you said you said that what could stop this is more God and more Jesus in schools, right? I think more God and more Jesus in society, more compassion, more virtues, more values is what's going to stop things like this. Compassion, says one of the least compassionate people I've ever seen, let alone Christians. Virtue, uh, values, um, if they're your virtue and values, I'll pass. Because, let's face it, you are a hate filled propaganda machine. And not to mention a gigantic fucking hypocrite, but that's neither here nor there. I think it's sure as hell. Does that include other religions? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Whatever your faith is, I hope it guides you. Says the woman who herself, as well as the network she's on, have railed against Islam and Muslims for years. Don't get me wrong, I'm not defending Islam. There's it's got major problems. But I think it's a little hypocritical. She says this, but she makes a living railing against Islam. So you see why you can't believe a word she says. But should people be talking about this stuff in school, or doesn't that go against... First? I don't think that you leave your religion at the door. I don't think you leave your faith and your beliefs at the door. I think you care with you to where you go. It's part of being a human. It's part of being an American. I'll end it on this one. I don't think that's what he meant. I think what he meant was, you know, should they... Teach it in school. You know, getting rid of the separation of church and state. That sort of thing.
But, of course, she sidestepped it with some typical, you know, canned, you know, of course you take it everywhere you go. Duh, nobody said you didn't. 